What's up guys, Kyle here with Yacht Car Stuff and today we're going to talk about McLaren. So McLaren unveiled yesterday a new wrap that's going to be available on the 570 GT and it's a feather wrap. Now when I say a feather wrap, I don't mean a wrap that looks like feathers, I mean actual feathers. McLaren says they take over 300 hours to apply 10,000 feathers to this 570 GT. They say that the feathers improve the aerodynamics of the car and I'm, I'm going to read it off my notes here so that I get it right. Uh, by delaying transition from laminar to turbulent boundary of air. So basically what that means is they're saying the feathers kind of apply a golf ball effect to the car to reduce drag at high speeds. And if you're worried about all the birds that have to give up their feathers for this car, don't worry about it. McLaren's got you covered. They use synthetic feathers so that every single one of them is exactly the same and they can have better control over the aerodynamics of this thing. This sounds pretty cool and unfortunately, if you haven't figured it out yet, it was an April Fool's joke. But uh, I mean, hats off to McLaren. I mean, if you look at the pictures, I think they actually did this to a car. If you look at the way the feathers overlap each other and sort of like there's little ones that are off here and there, they kind of hang down a little bit. I don't think it's photoshopped. It looks like they actually did this to a car. So uh, A plus for effort for McLaren. Story number two today comes from Dodge. It looks like they're preparing a Ford Raptor competitor. Finally! It blows my mind that it took GM and Dodge this long to come up with something to compete with the Raptor. I'm in Alberta, which is basically the Texas of Canada, and I see Raptors all over the place all the time. I don't think Dodge will have any trouble selling this thing. So Dodge's new truck is going to be based on the TRX concept that we've already seen. Uh, all the bodywork and looks of the truck are basically going to carry into production, so you're going to get the skid, the skid plates, that really aggressive front end, the tires, all of it is going to carry into the production vehicle. The biggest news about this Dodge though is horsepower. They're not just throwing the same old uh, 5.7 liter that's in everything else. They're actually putting a detuned version of the Hellcat motor in. Now the, why detuned? Why didn't they just throw 700 horsepower at this thing? Well Dodge is saying that the four wheel drive system just can't take it. So it's going to be detuned and we're expecting, you know, something around 575 horsepower, which is what, what was in that TRX concept. And I don't know about you, but uh, 575 horsepower, is, that's plenty for me. So I'm excited to see this truck come out. I think it'll push Ford a little bit harder with that Raptor. It's so good already, but if you get these two guys fighting with each other, you're going to see some amazing stuff. I'm also glad that somebody's finally making a big horsepower truck. Here in Alberta, supercharging of trucks is big business. There's a lot of people that do it. And I think the manufacturers can sell these things no problem by themselves. I know fuel economy is an issue. They got to pay their cafe taxes and fees and stuff. But even if you increase the price of these trucks, people will still pay for it. People love power. People love trucks. They'll sell. That's it for this video. If you liked it, thumbs up and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram. It's not all car stuff on there. It's my photography channel, but there are car stuff here and there. Check that out. Tell me down in the comments, do you think that feathers are going to make an appearance in high-end cars? Personally, I could see it becoming a thing with interiors. I'm Kyle. This is Yeah Car Stuff. I'll see you next time. Yeah, Car Stuff.